Today's toy hunting adventure takes us to Walmart. We're on the lookout for the Superpowers action figure line by McFarlane Toys. Hopefully we find them. They got some very cool looking vehicles. A lot of people are seeing them. And hopefully we get to see that shipper box as well. The thing looks awesome. And there's tons, from what I've seen online, there's tons of figures of each one there. Uh, so we're gonna look for that and look around see if we find anything else that's brand new to Walmart. If this is the first time tuning into the channel, welcome. Hit the subscribe button to keep up with my future toy hunting videos. And I'm also on Instagram as well, at SoCal Shaolin. So let's get this uh, toy hunt started. All right, guys, we're here at the toy section already. See the superpowers. Big shipper box. This is incredible. So I'm definitely going to pick up a... John Stewart Green Lantern. This thing is nice. I wonder if they have any of the other ones. I think it's uh, Batman Who Laughs. I believe this is his name. And we got, yep, we got the vehicles right there. Finally, guys, we finally find it. We're also gonna look around some more, see what else we can find. I'm here in the Hot Wheels section and I just found this awesome Jada toys. These little miniature um, figures here. They're made out of metal, the nano figures. My son has a whole bunch of these. He loves these things. But this is a playset, the Daily Bugle playset. Never seen this one before. It's very cool. It's like it has a, a subway station there, newsstand. So that's like the street level and then the underground, the subway which is really cool it has a whole bunch of cool little play features billboard sign it's very cool and i scanned is already it's 25 dollars which is not bad so it stands 12.3 inches height 10 inches wide it's a very cool little place set for these uh, nano figures now we're in the action figure section. We're starting off with Jurassic World. This is a toy line that's been kind of hanging around the pegs at the Walmarts. I always see so much of it. Lightyear is still here. As you can see, there's lots of empty pegs at this location. Empty shelves. Here's a Palpatine. One lone archive Star Wars figure there. Like I said, lots of empty pegs. And shelves here we got a couple more of those supermobiles from superpowers and besides that and the Star Wars squadron micro galaxy vehicles nothing else is new at this Walmart so it uh, does not look like they did a restock here besides these two things Star Wars and superpowers but we got what we came here for so I'm happy about that but it just kind of sucks that nothing else is on the shelves or pegs i've seen lots of other walmarts that are jam-packed with new stuff uh, but not here not at this location but the good thing about san diego there's so many walmarts around here i literally live near like five of them within a few minutes drive all right so it was very loud in the toy section so the voiceover was definitely necessary for that section a lot of people over there just being loud uh, so here we got the collector section no collector section no ninja turtle figures i know the secret of the youth figures are out already some people are spotting them doesn't look like they have them here i'm tempted to pick some of these guys up so i'm a huge basketball fan and i mean they don't make too many figures for basketball i mean starting lineup is coming back in september guys if you didn't know I have a whole bunch of those at home from the 90s. But, yeah, let's see. Nothing nothing new here in the adult collectible section. Oh, this Jimi Hendrix is pretty awesome. Very cool. It's too big, though. I, this is like a, what, 10-inch, 12-inch figure? Maybe if they had them in the small version, like these guys, I would pick them up. But, uh, looks like there's more stuff on the other aisle. We're gonna go over there and check it out. We got the Riddler. 
It's one of the big Riddlers. It's like a 12 inch figure. It's kind of got, it says they're on clearance, but I mean, $24.97, it's not much of a deal. It goes that Revelation Battle Cat. So these are nine dollars right now, guys. Nine bucks if you want to get into this uh, play set right here from the Netflix animated series of He Man and the Master of the Universe. That's not a bad price. I think I paid maybe like twenty-five bucks for a brand new, or thirty. I'm not sure. I don't remember. Nine's definitely a better deal. And then we got that uh, Gotham City police car right there set. Yeah, Sonic the Hedgehog 2 just came out. Haven't seen it. The first one was really good though. Took my son to go see it, so but we still haven't seen this one. And then uh, Dominion came out. We saw that. It was okay. It wasn't the best one. Nothing beats the original one. But it's out on Blu-ray now. And they got like toys everywhere here in the video game section legos they even got some avatar some disney toys all right this is another thing i was looking for the new limited edition dream world flavor by coca-cola these are the mini cans uh, but i'm not gonna buy the all oh, this whole box because i don't know if it's gonna be good or not so hopefully i got like bottles up in the front single bottles but they also have a zero sugar one uh, we scored at Walmart, which means we don't need to go to another one. I found the Super Fire Spray I was looking for, even the, found the Dream Coca-Cola flavor. Hopefully it tastes good. I didn't want to pick up the mini cans because that's too much, because what if it sucks? Uh, but let's head on home and show you what the pickups are. I even got one little special item that I'm super excited about. If you want to support the channel even more, check out my official SoCal Shaolin merch store. Link in the description below. Here you'll be able to order SCS logo t-shirts for you to rock while you go toy hunting. You can get them in white, black, or any other color that's available here for your liking. We we'll even have some hoodies as well as some special designs I had made for conventions like the ones you see here. And we even have stuff for the ladies. And check back often as I'll have limited edition designs that will only be available for a short amount of time. Merch store link in the description below to order your SCS logo shirts today. Back home in the toy room, that was a quick trip to Walmart. Only went to one Walmart because I found everything I was looking for. I didn't need to go anywhere else. Uh, so I did pick up the Superpowers figures. Amazing, but I only picked up uh, John Sewer, the Green Lantern. Right here, awesome looking figure. Looks pretty close to the vintage figure which is awesome so i'm only picking up the ones that were not made in the original 80s superpowers toy line so i passed on dark side batman and superman i know there's another figure called the batman who laughs or something like that uh, he looks real cool real goth looking type they didn't have him and i think he's coming out with the flash i think that's how people are finding him and the flash uh, coming in like the same shipment uh, but we found the shipper which was awesome seeing and they had so many of these figures they had probably like 15 of each and it looked like i had been halfway picked over which was crazy and i did pick up the vehicles because i think the vehicles look awesome and then the packaging oh, i just cannot beat the package look at that it just looks look just like a vintage figure these are going to be awesome awesome displayed very cool and then my favorite one is the supermobile I know this is based off concept artwork for the original toy line in the 80s. So they did the concept op, concept artwork, but it was never made. So it's cool that McFarlane Toys took that artwork and made it a reality, which is very cool. Just a weird looking figure, very cool, or vehicle I should say. It has the two fists <laughs> punching. I mean, Superman doesn't even need a vehicle, right? But it's very cool. He's going to use it anyway. But this is awesome. I don't know. I might pick up the Superman figure. I don't know. I'm on the fence, guys. I'm just, now I'm kind of thinking, should I pick up the Batman and Superman figures and put them inside the vehicles? I think they'll look cool displayed with the figure in there. I'm not going to put the vintage figures in there. And then the last thing I picked up, which is the thing I'm most excited about. All right. 
you guys. Here it is. I took the header display sign from the shipper box. This is awesome. This is amazing. It's the same on both sides, but yes. They throw these things away anyway. And if you're lucky enough when they're thrown away, I usually give them to you that had before on some other things, but yeah. This one, it got donated to the collection here. But this is awesome, awesome superpowers. Uh, shipper logo, it's awesome. This is amazing, it can be hung up somewhere. Don't know where, but it's cool to have it. That is very cool. Nice little piece of uh, collectible. Store display, I love store displays. They're always amazing. And if you can get your hands on store displays, why not? But yeah, this is what I'm most happy about right there. So thanks again, everybody, for watching. Uh, let me know if you're picking up the Super Powers lines. Do you have the original ones? How are you gonna display them? Are you gonna put them together with the vintage line or separate? Because I mean, it kind of is separate, but not really, right? It's like an updated version of Super Powers. So let me know down below in the comments and if you enjoyed the toy hunt hit the like button leave those comments below i'll get back to each and every one of you and if you're not subscribed yet hit the subscribe button to keep up with my future toy hunts and also you also go back and check out my past ones uh, but thanks again everybody for watching good luck on everyone's toy hunts out there so cow shaolin i am out oh also give me a follow on instagram as well so cow shaolin now we're out catch you on the next hunt